We're about to walk on board uh, Fontaine Pajot's uh, MY44, the bigger sister to the 40. Huge area out of wide, wide, wide ditch you're about to see now. Massive full height domestic fridge and a galley facing out aft with oven and so forth. Huge area internally, of course, spanning the two hulls. Large dining here, set as the coffee table. There is dining upstairs as well. Owners, of course, down to port. Twin cabins off to starboard. And up forward is either storage or can be converted into a kid's snug with two bunks as well. It's a little bit smaller on the 40. Pilot station, lower, of course, there is the upper. So let's go down into the starboard hull. Out aft is the VIP. Again with a full head. Also running a port ships and making the most of that great morning view. Full shower. So looking back into the main companionway for the 44. And we'll go into the foreign stateroom. Can be converted into two singles of course. And then the head is the day head, which is directly off the companion way. All in all, lots of space. Three cabins only, of course, with that optional cube cabin, amidships, but what a delight. We're in uh, approximately one metre, uh, into about 30 knots out of the uh, west northwest, probably making something like 11 knots, give or take, into the headwind, it's probably come down a little bit. Um, given that you do have a fair bit of windage yeah. with a uh, power cap. But we've just come across in a beam C and I was just commenting that uh, as long as you've got the bent knees, you won't be falling over. And uh, that's really one of the massive attributes of the power cap, in addition, of course, to the volume for the uh, bang of your buck. Clark and Shark, so that would make that Shark. Uh, not much action on the uh, harbour today. I would have thought anybody with a sports boat and a car to be out here. But anyway, not to worry. <laughs> and here we are on board the beautiful MY44. Roof is open and you can have your lunch without getting burnt and then pop off the back for a swim. Sideways movement here. So on board this has got the IPS uh, 400s I think, off the top of my head. Correct, so uh, just pushing sideways into the wind here about 30 knots. Yeah. And then just gonna build in the twist, automatically just throws it in but still moving sideways. Now the benefit of that, as you're going to see, is the reason I've done that is you've got Shark Island. Keep going with the uh, bow coming around. Yep. And shortly, there it is, the wake's starting to appear just over the back of Marcus's head. And that's why, if you've never driven IPS, you need to. <laughs> Absolutely. Off to port is the owner's hull. And with this vessel, the most important thing to remember is that's the only option you have, which really actually works out quite well for you when you think ultimately you don't need as many bunks as what you might normally suggest. Our master stateroom runs the bed athwart ships and up forward is the most delightful of heads. So it's a consistent flow and it means that the owner does enjoy their total layout. Naturally it's wonderful to have a wet room that's totally separate and you even have a rain shower head. And if you were in bed as the owner, that's what you're going to wake up and see. What a delight. So uh, this is going to be the uh, wake off the Manly Ferry bow in. Yep, power cap. Yep, that's straight over the top, not even spray onto the uh, clears. We've probably got sort of something like 15 or 16 knots on the, on, on the way here. Uh, with the small motors, that's probably about all you're going to get. Yeah, it's, 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 it's